Welcome, welcome back if you're returning. Well, normally when I thrift items and make them over, I use them at home. I don't usually sell them. This week's a bit different. All the items have come from my stash. They've been sitting there for a little while. I'm going to be making them over and I'm going to be putting them in my garage sale. Um, I've got coasters, trinket boxes, mirrors, frames. I've got a couple of um, hang wall hangers. I've got um, a few shells and I've got a couple of trays. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making these over specifically for the garage sale in the hopes that somebody will pick them up and find a new home for them. So I'm going with a few different styles and I'm going to start with the coasters. I had eight cardboard coasters in a bag. I'm doing four and four. I'm painting four black and doing like a, a botanical academia look to the first four. And the second floor four, I'm giving a William Morris, of course. Uh, I'm using this um, peel and stick paper. It's a plastic paper, so it is waterproof. I've made a template. Um, and I'm cutting out four of the shapes to put onto the coaster. I am rounding off the edges just because the coasters have rounded edges and it just looks better. So that's what I'm cutting all the edges and once they're all done, I'm going to peel back the backing of the paper and then stick them onto the coaster. As you can see, I've taken the burnishing tool and just made sure that everything is really firmly stuck into place. I have taken a small brush and the black chalk paint. And as you can see here, I'm just filling in all the edges of the coasters. I'm going to be painting the black, the back in this copper color. And then once it's done, I'm going to be just putting a copper trim all around the coaster just to give it a nice finished look. Once it's all done and dry I will be adding two coats of the waterproof Mod Podge over both sides back and front and this will ensure that once it's in use should anything get spilt on it um, they should be sealed completely and they should never shouldn't be uh, a problem if they have to be wiped down either. So this second set of coasters I've painted in back and front in cocoon chalk paint. I've then got uh, covered them in a layer of Mod Podge, added this lovely William Morris paper, trimmed it down and then covered it all with two coats of the waterproof Mod Podge and then these are ready to go on the table. This is a lovely little trinket box. It's all wooden and I've had this for quite a while. Uh, it reminds me of, it's, I think it's quite Moroccan in its styling. So I thought I'll paint the inside of it in this lovely copper paint. So I've painted the inside of the lid of the box and then inside the bottom of the box, which currently has a nice piece of felt um, I'm stuck in. What I've got is some mosaic glass mirror pieces um, and I'm going to add those into the bottom which really adds to that Moroccan look well, so I think. So those are going I'm going to cut them to size and then stick them in the bottom and 
and you can see here roughly just cut them down with the blade and then peel off the back and stick them in the bottom. This is another I've got a few of these I've collected various mirrors over time and I saw this in a garage sale quite a, probably at last year now and I thought it was uh, well I didn't realize it was just a plastic mirror I thought it was something else so as you can see I've got the same contact paper I've laid it down I cleaned the mirror first I've laid down the paper on top and then I got over it with the blade and just trimmed away the paper. I've also gone in with the chalk paint just to finish off the edges and did a little bit on the front. these academia frames they were frames that I've had for a very long time I've used the inserts they were um, with a box um, shadow boxes so I hated the shells the look of the shells initially so I painted them black now I'd like to try and get some of the shell back so I've taken some hand san sanitizer and I'm rubbing it into all the shells I'm going to rinse it off and I'm left with a lovely antiqued old looking shell frame which is exactly the look that I was hoping for. I have some really nice pictures of uh, fish and shells and seaweed and coral so I'm going to use those and insert those or stick them to the back um, and then I'm going to just put a piece of backing paper on everything just to finish them off and I'm left with two really nice picture frames. I've had this little soap dish for years and years and years. Um, it used to be part of a set. I have got the little cup somewhere, but I don't know where it is now. So I've got these lovely papers and I'm going to decorate inside and out with these contrasting papers. So I've mod podged around the outside of the little dish and I'm adding this green polka dot paper. And then inside I'm going to be adding this lovely little floral with the polka dots as a background so that they do correspond with one another. Now there are, because this is a soap dish, there are little grooves so you have to make sure that everything's pressed down pop properly and then given two coats of the waterproof Mod Podge and it can still be a soap dish if you want to but I'm going to use it, well I'm hoping people will use it for uh, knickknacks and jewellery and it's turned out really sweet.
Well, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have something William Morris or make a lampshade. So this little hook is something that I picked up for 75 cents. I was initially going to do it like a cottage core print, but decided to go with this lovely William Morris to match the mirror that I did last week. So I've taken the little brass hooks off it, unscrewed them, put this material down, um, cut it all the way around, used a nail file to uh, finish all the edges then I've gone over it with another coat of the Mod Podge and then trimmed it all with the gold paint <music> As I said I paid 75 cents for this. This little hook came from a company called the Bombay Company which used to do really lovely little items, almost colonial, um, and it was initially $29.99. Ridiculous, but turned out really nicely. This is a tray that I've had for a long time. I've got a few of these. I mixed this paint together. It was black chalk paint, a bit of gold paint and a bit of copper paint. I mixed it all together and then gave it two coats. Um, and then in the center, I just put the peel and stick wallpaper and um, love how it's turned out. If you remember I got these a few weeks ago I've got three of these all together they are plastic and they're for serving I suppose chips so what I've done is I've covered the bottom in Mod Podge and then I've covered that in a piece of the toile material I've pressed it into all the little nooks and crannies and then I've gone over it with another layer of the Mod Podge that way it's absolutely 100% food safe um, I've also had these little trinket trays I guess they're going to be um, I thought we could put um, condiments in them um, I, it is food safe as much as I've traced out the material cut it and then stuck it inside the little uh, shell again with the waterproof mud podge which says it's food safe but um, I was going to trim these in gold leaf but I ran out of the gold leaf adhesive and it didn't come in time so I went over it with this copper paint which is a favorite of mine at the moment but I'm not overly pleased with how it looks so when my gold leaf adhesive does arrive I will be going over these two items with the gold leaf and hopefully they'll match or look somewhat like the shell that I did a few months ago as my um, part of my living room makeover so um, I'll let you see those when it's, they're done well as I said this is an absolute first for me I never sell my items so everything that i've done last week and this week will be going in the garage sale um, i'll have a separate little table that will be handmade crafts and hopefully people will pick them up um, but as i said normally i try to keep everything for myself i really like this little hook uh, i may keep that but we'll see um, it's getting to the point that i'm trying to be so good and getting rid of a lot of stuff it's not been easy as I said but I'm getting better so I hope everyone has a great week um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks so much for watching I hope you are inspired by some of the items that I've made and for those of you in the US have a great 4th of July um, I know this is that's coming up later next week and if you're in Canada happy Canada Day for Monday uh, anywhere else around the world have a great week and I'll see you next time